Hi guys, the Moth Hunter is back. This is Katie, I am the Moth Hunter. This is my new show that I created today. And this is episode seven already, on a roll. Why? Quick recap, because I found a lot of larvae eggs in um, unopened rice bags, several of them, which told me there was eggs elsewhere and I wanted to get rid of them so that they didn't turn into flying moths. Because once they're flying moths, you're cooked. They're everywhere. Eggs are everywhere, so you've really got to find them. So I'm cleaning out the spice cupboard tonight because that's an area that moths love to lay eggs because those little eggs eat all the spices when they're growing. Um, so earlier, on an earlier episode, I showed you how we spotted a cocoon dangling from a basil spice jar. And because I, I said to you that the little cocoon, the little eggs, once a moth is flying around, it is not eating, it is laying eggs, tons of them, hundreds, dozens, who knows, gross. Um, and when those eggs, little eggs hatch, they need food. Where's the food? Well, they got laid in the food. So all they have to do is crawl out of their little cocoons and they're like teeny tiny microscopic. So they drop from a piece of silk thread and they start to eat food. So we're gonna take a look right now at mustard. Because this one, I've been going through all of the spices. This one didn't have any silk or silk threads, but it had something else. I'm gonna show you. Watch. All right, just to give you a background on me, the moth hunter. I am a moth hunter because I've been dealing with moth episodes in my house for over two years. So I've been spotting a lot of um, symptoms of what to, what to look for when you have moths so that you don't get the flying moths. So you can clean them out when they're eggs. This is ground mustard. Now what I've learned is, is that little baby moths, they need water, but they don't drink water, so they get it from their food source. Look in here. Do you see any moths in here? No, you don't. Do you see any eggs in here? Not to your naked eye. But do you see those things rolling around in the ground mustard that are like clumps, that are not breaking apart as I kind of, this is my test, this is how I test powdered stuff. They're not breaking apart. Do you want to know why? Because those are clusters of moth eggs, pantry moth eggs. Here's what else I look for. Do you see how powdery that is right there? That's like powdery, right? But it's not. It's little teeny icky eggs or whatever they are, but these are like moth remnants. So when you see a clump like this, that's not breaking apart in flour, pancake mix, cake mix, um, cream of wheat, anything that should be, you know you've got an infestation and it's going to the trash. Now let's look in my paprika. I took the top off. I'm not seeing any clumps. They're, well, let's see, they're pretty much breaking apart. If I do the test, if I do the test, are they breaking apart? Yeah. But, suspect, do you see the paprika on the side of the bottle? I know you're thinking, Katie, what are you looking at? You're looking at just remnants of paprika. But I'm not. The, this, from my experience, has been evidence of moth stuff. Like the eggs are in there. And if I leave this here, it'll get clumpy. I could leave it here as an experiment, actually, to see if it did get clumpy as they grow older and eat more of the paprika while they're in there. But I don't want to because I did this experiment on my raisin bran earlier this week because I did have um, an infestation in this cupboard with rice and it was in um, some cereal. And I saw the side of the bag that looked like that and I thought, that's just sugar. That's just sugar on the side of that bag. That's not, but it's not. It's moth stuff. So if it's suspect, I have a 10% rule. If I'm 10% suspect, it's going in the trash. Okay, I'll tune back in and show you some other tips as I find them. Next, I'm gonna be wiping down um, oil and stuff because um, bottles of oil get coated in food from your stove. And we, the goal here, people, is to not have flying moths, even if in your house, even if you have one moth, that's one moth too many, because there's tons of eggs that it left. So this is Katie, the Moth Hunter, with a little tip for you tonight. Have a great evening. I might be back here on Periscope or you can find other of these episodes in YouTube under The Moth Hunter. Subscribe to the playlist so you can get more of these tips and spot the moths before they become moths. Bye.